All right. So here's our first example um, with linear differential equations. We're going to apply this technique of finding integrating factors to see how this works. Before we dive in, let's note that this is actually separable as well, right? So there is one possible solution that we could, we could do here, right? Sort of option A, if you like, is we say, okay, we have 1 over y times dy is equal to x times dx. All right, so that means that log y is half x squared plus c. We do the usual trick when we exponentiate to account for the absolute value and the constant at the same time. And we come up with a solution that looks like y is equal to, let's say, a e to the 1 half x squared, right? OK, we got her done. Well, that was easy enough, so why bother with the linear approach? Well, fair. Um, if nobody told you, that's probably the way you should do it. It's short, it's simple, it gets the job done. But we want to practice working with linear equations, right? So let's do sort of option B. Rewrite this in the standard form. Y prime is minus x times y prime minus xy equals 0. OK? And we look for the integrating factor. So remember, the integrating factor looks like e to the integral of fx dx. In our case, fx is minus x, right? f of x is always the coefficient for y. Um, so the integrating factor becomes e to the integral of minus x dx, which is e to the minus 1 half x squared. OK? You might notice maybe some connections going on there. So we, we multiply both sides of the equation by our integrating factor. Of course, we have 0 on the other side, so we don't have to worry about that. We get e to the minus half x squared y prime minus x e to the minus half x squared y is equal to 0. And of course, the whole point of the integrating factor is that what we have on the left now is the derivative of e to the minus half x squared times y. That's equal to 0. Well, that means that if the derivative is 0, this thing must be a constant. So e to the minus half x squared y is equal to some constant. Maybe I'll call it a because of what we have over there. Maybe I should have called it b because we're doing option b. Um, solve for y. Multiply both sides by e to the half x squared, right? a e to the 1 half x squared. And we get the same answer as before, as we should.